Larissa, he's 90 years old. I want what he's having. He looks amazing. He looks great. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I I'm... bet he's putting olive oil all over his face. You think so? Moisturizing? <laughs> that's that's keep... what JLo says she does. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm, I must be that. All right, let's go ahead and talk weather before I say something that gets me in trouble. We have uh, really quiet conditions out there. A little bit of rain falling right now out towards Delaware, but just everyone is seeing the clouds. We could see clouds break for sun, and I do suspect that if we do see any clouds breaking for some sun, it's going to be north and west. We'll see those clouds poke some holes, and then the sun will beam right out. Right now, we're, talk we're tracking the chance for a few more showers to develop later on this afternoon. Here's 5 p.m. We have plenty of cloud cover, a few passing showers due to that persistent easterly wind, and that'll stick around at least through midnight tonight before conditions do switch up for us. And I'll explain in a moment. 61 degrees here for tonight, a great night to turn off the ACs, open up a couple windows. We're going to be tracking cloudy skies, areas of patchy fog and mist. Winds will be variable, so that easterly wind is going to eventually change, become very calm, and that's going to allow for things to, well, change. High pressure for one is going to begin to drift further off towards the east. That's going to send a southwesterly flow over our region, and whenever we have winds coming in out of the south, it means we're going to see a warm up, and that's exactly what's expected. Temperatures will be 10 to 15 degrees above average. It's also going to be turning humid as we head towards Friday. So, not only are we tracking these above normal temperatures, we're also tracking record challenging temperatures both Friday and Saturday. Now, a cold front will be approaching Saturday. That's going to be moving in Saturday afternoon, and it'll bring a big drop in those temperatures. And for the first time, it's what's going to feel like a while. It's going to be truly crisp out there. I feel like we haven't had that type of weather since two weeks ago. Meanwhile, you might be wondering just how warm it's going to be for Thursday's game down at the link. 75. This is mid-October, folks. This is just not normal. 75 degrees here by 8 p.m. It'll be clear. It'll be warm. It'll certainly be a really nice night to go enjoy some football. And then we're tracking the tropics. Two areas of disturbed weather. We're tracking a low chance of development for both. Back here at home, here's that warm up. 83 on Friday, 82 Saturday. And then here comes the chill by Sunday. All right, Larissa. I like this little summer warm up. Yeah.